We're celebrating 10 years of StoryCorps this week by revisiting some memorable stories. This one starts in 1996. Will Smith was 27 and had just enrolled as a freshman at Bowdoin College. Not only was he older than the other students, but he was raising his infant daughter, Olivia. I wasn't planning on having you as my roommate. I actually thought that if Bowdoin College knew I had you, they wouldn't let me come to college. So I hadn't mentioned it to anyone. And I uh, got a job working at Staples, cleaning at night. I had to take you in with me at work sometimes and hide you in the closet. (laughs) I think I lost something like 27 pounds just from stress and not eating because I didn't have enough for both of us. My basketball teammates were my first babysitters. I just remember coming from class, and there were four giant guys, and then there was this 18-month-old who was tearing up the room. (laughs) Were you ever embarrassed bringing me to class or Uh, just having me in general? I felt a little awkward, but never embarrassed. There were times when the only way I could get through was to come in and look at you and see you sleeping and then go back to my studies. And my graduation day from Bowdoin is a day I'll never forget. You know, all of my classmates, they stood up and gave me the only standing ovation. I remember walking up with you and having my head in your shoulder. (laughs) Yeah. The uh, dean called both of our names as he presented us with the diploma. So technically I already graduated from college. (laughs) (laughs) Nice try. (laughs) The degree only has my name on it, so you still got to go. (laughs) I really admire your strength. I draw my strength from you. I always have and I still do. That's Will Smith with his teenage daughter, Olivia. Now, just before recording that interview, Will found out that he had stage 3 colon cancer. You know, you took care of me in the hospital as if our roles were reversed. I was in the hospital bed, and you were rubbing my head, and you were telling me everything was going to be okay. You watched me at my weakest point where no father wants to be, and you didn't shed a tear. StoryCorps recently checked in with Will and Olivia to find out how they're doing now. The best day of this past year was when you had your last chemo treatment. (laughs) That was a good day. (laughs) Now I am feeling a little better, and... We're doing the college search. It's crazy, like, growing up on a college campus, and now that I'm finally that age, I don't really believe it. You won't have the early struggles that I did. You won't have a child. (laughs) You know, when I was going through treatments, one of the things that helped me through is knowing that had I not been there to help you through this process, you would have figured it out by yourself. But I'm grateful that I am here and with you. I'm also glad that we're here. Thank you for always being there for me and just giving me the life that I have. Olivia Smith and her father, Will, at StoryCorps, and we can tell you this morning, Will remains cancer-free. Their interviews are housed at the Library of Congress, and tune into the program tomorrow for more from StoryCorps.